Hey everybody, uh, today's video we're going to go over some things that I think you should know if you're, you're starting your collection. Uh, last video kind of showed the comparison in different collectibles. Today I just want to show you some things that I was asked about uh, the value of the items and if they should keep them in the boxes. So I'm going to touch a little bit about, on that. I'm going to touch a little bit about where I get the figures and then I'm going to show you the difference between uh, unopened item that I have in my collection and one that I ordered from an individual that was selling it uh, off of his uh, home website, decided he didn't want the figure anymore, and, and what I ended up buying it for. So really quick, I just wanted to show you this particular page. Most of the things I'm going to show you have to do with sideshow collectibles and hot toys. I'm going to show you different figures and that type stuff over time, but um, right now that's what I'm focusing on because these are the high-end collectibles. Um, they're what most people want to know as far as if you're going to get into it, should I get into it, um, do I want to open it when I get it. And, and here's the thing, if you're collecting and you want to open them, it really comes down to what you're looking at. Are you looking at reselling them someday? And I think you'll find that most people who collect these high-end figures aren't interested in selling them someday. But even if you do, you're not going to lose a lot of money in the process. So just understand that it's not it's not something where these items, oh, because the package is open, you're going to diminish a lot of value. It's not like a, a Hot Wheels car or an old comic book. Uh, the, the value of these items come in the detail and the way they're made, not in their mint uh, condition packaging. So I just wanted to show you really quick. This is the Jared Leto Joker. Uh, this version of him is very simple. He's in a straight jacket. There's nothing spectacular about the figure other than he's, uh, it, it's from Arkham Asylum. It's one of the scenes of the movie. I love this particular Joker because he... There's a better picture of him because that image just for his particular character, I think just works better for me. Th th this is some of the things that he comes with is a straight jacket. Uh, he comes with this backdrop, which is really cool. It lights up really well when you have lights behind it, this one six scale chair and you can have him sitting. You can have the straight jacket undone or done very simple character and it's very inexpensive as far as hot toys go because he doesn't come with a lot well as you can see right here two hundred and twenty five dollars that's about what you're gonna pay for him on sideshow collectibles the difference is is you're not gonna get anything special from buying it from eBay you're just gonna buy it and, that, and that's basically it and I'm gonna show you what I mean by that um, in, in just a few minutes but I just wanted to kind of roll down and, and show you some of the difference in characters. Most hot toys start at about the 250 mark. So there, here is a, a Hot Toys uh, Man of Steel figure, 249, about that price from Sideshow Collectibles. So again, if I wanted to sell my character that I have outside the box, I could sell him whether he was mint in package or not in package as long as I had a, everything with him and I, and I guarantee you even if I didn't have everything with him I could still sell it for that that amount uh, so you have to really analyze what you're trying to accomplish do you want to buy these things to sell later are you trying to make a business out of it or are you a real collector and you just want them part of your collection and if you're a collector like myself you want to look at these things you want to touch these things you want to be transported back to your childhood and that's what makes these collectibles so um, exciting. So I just wanted to kind of peruse through these different uh, figures. You can see that some of them are high end, some of them aren't. It, it just depends on how collectible they are. Um, sometimes people don't even know what they have and they're trying to sell them. This is a great example. Again, about 250 on Sideshow Collectibles going for 449 right now and that is pretty much the average. Um, this version of Batman Returns 299 that is about the average price for that figure. This one right here it says uh, uh, this is the DX2 from Dark Knight uh, 329 that is a, a pretty fair price considering what they're going for online right now and then you got like people like this this one right here they take these figures and they uh, they piece them out and then they sell them and you can see how expensive they're selling just just the heads 
for some of these characters and it's just it, it just baffles me that people even uh, pay money for these but uh, again it just comes down to what you want to spend your money on there's a lot of great items in here that that are not going to break the bank but it just depends on how much you want to to spend on these ones so I have this man of steel right here he is from Batman v Superman I bought him for 250 some odd dollars we'll probably see that in a second Again, three fifty one forty nine, and I will tell you that this price is more common on eBay than the cheaper price. If it's cheaper than that, generally there's something wrong with the figure. Either they've tried to modify it, and mess it up, they've uh, they're missing some pieces, they've torn something, uh, there's smoke damage, there's something wrong with it. Just just be really cautious when you're buying these figures from eBay that you you know what you're getting. One thing I just wanted to show really quick before I move on uh, to the next page that we're going to look at um, it, are figures like this. So again, depending on what kind of collector you want to be. So this is a, a U.S. seller. Just There's nothing... This person probably doesn't have a license. They're using probably a Fison body with Fison clothes and then a custom head sculpt um, and, and the hand. So you can actually build these characters. If you're going to buy this, just make sure you're getting everything that you see in the picture. A lot of times when you see these pictures, you're only getting the clothes or you're getting just the head sculpt and the hands. You're not getting everything that you see here. This is... If you look at it, it looks pretty good. I mean, the clothes look good, the, the head scope looks good, the claws look good. A, a lot of great things in, in this figure, but this is not a Hot Toys. This is, um, this is a, it says U.S. seller. That means that there is just somebody putting these together and, and making them. And for you as a collector, you might look at this and say, hey, that is pretty good. That is all I would ever need in a figure. Again, there's nothing wrong with buying those if you want to buy them just make sure you know what you're paying for you don't want to uh, just get ahead my wife bought me something she thought was uh, for a Christopher Reeve Superman she thought it was a full-size version of it it turned out to be just a micro version of it and she was pretty upset that she spent as much money as she did on it and it it wasn't like break the bank it was like 20 bucks but she just she wouldn't even have spent that much money on what she bought if she had known it was going to be like that. Here's another example, Harley Quinn from uh, Suicide Squad. I had this figure coming in the next few days. She hasn't officially been released in the U.S. yet. So I, I'm buying her for about $2.53, I, I think, and she's going for $3.39.99. So opening these packages when you get them is not going to break the bank. You're going to be able to get, nine times out of ten, you're going to be able to get the value out of them once you... Uh, um, once you you open them up and sell them, you're, you're not going to really lose money. The only time you're going to lose money is if you buy a character that no one really wanted to begin with. So you just got to do your research. What What is important to you might not be important to somebody else. Uh, most of the DC stuff is very highly collectible, but I'll give you an example. Uh, Jor-El from the Man of Steel, not as collectible as Hot Toys would have liked. I mean, he's a great figure, looks amazing, have him in my collection. But he's just not as popular as some of the other characters. So you get him for cheaper than you would have uh, bought him original price. So just do your research on it. Look online. eBay is a great resource. And I'll tell you, you'll find them cheaper on eBay than you will on Amazon. You can find Hot Toys on Amazon, but better priced through eBay. There's another website that I don't go to, but I have been on to just see the price. And it's BigBadToyStore.com. Um, and most of the time he has them priced reasonably, maybe with a $20 markup is all. So you'd get them at the same price you'd get them from Sideshow, but just with a $20 uh, markup on the figure. So just wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of what to look for. Um, these figures are just amazing. Um, but understand too, this is a prototype picture. This is not a final uh, picture of what these characters are going to be. And I'll, I'll show you that in a little bit. Uh, of what I'm talking about but this is what they this particular character comes with the gun the bat the purse the, the backpack the bracelets the background the hands the, and the mallet and then of course the figure itself 
that's what ends up costing you money. The more detail in a figure, the more the higher the cost through Sideshow. Most things don't cost more than 300 unless there's a lot of extras. But um, again, do your research. Know what, know what you're buying. So really quick, I want to go to Sideshow Collectibles. And I want to just show you um, some of the things I'm talking about. So if you go into Sideshow, you go into uh, your account if you sign up for one which I highly encourage you to do so because this is just an absolutely amazing uh, site every time you buy something you can go to Sideshow Rewards and you can see right here that uh, I'm getting I have $77.65 in points so every time I buy an item I get points and right now pending so after I finish paying for some items I get $62.60 pending so that's enough to buy some figures off this site but this gives you a kind of a indicator of when they you, the, the when you get the points or how many points you get per figure so this Wonder Woman I purchased last year I started the pre-order on April 7th and I as soon as I'm finished paying for her which will be very very soon 235 points Harley Quinn I bought last year as well in July 250 points again she's got more accessories that's why she ends up costing more and then uh, the the training version of Wonder Woman again 235 points not a lot of accessories coming with those particular figures so I'm just gonna go right back up here really quick because I want to show you my orders alright so these are some of the pre-orders that I have coming and I just wanted to show you this for a specific reason so this tactical suit Batman I will not see until next year that's just as early as I will get that um, I pre-ordered it as soon as it went on sale as you can see August 1st 2017 um, this one I ordered July 15 2017 and they're only about $25 to reserve your copy but this one will be coming out closer to October they already have a version of this this one's just a battle damage version and um, I'll be since I couldn't get the original from Hot Toys because I didn't order it through Sideshow uh, I'm doing that now because I learned my lesson and not ordering it on time because you just can't find them for less than three fifty. I've got this Wonder Woman training version coming next year um, and then again I've got Harley Quinn and Wonder Woman I'm going to show you these guys really quick because they're coming really soon so Harley Quinn total 272 is the final purchase price uh, $25 for non-refundable but that gets added into your regular price so you're not losing that money and then shipping costs and you can see right here that I started ordering this uh, July 27th and I started making my payments this year in April so I pre-ordered it last year didn't make my first payment on it until this year and they try to estimate that upon the release date so as you can see fifty six dollars and twenty five cents that's not going to break the bank in most cases uh, and even if you're worried about that you can always defer a payment and and send it down the, the road you don't have to make a monthly every single month you can spread that out if, if you need to so I just wanted to show you that really quick through Sideshow um, it's a fantastic site you get those credits a lot of times they give you free stuff when I first bought my first sideshow hot toy I got uh, a keychain a flash drive and I got the Jor-El figure from Man of Steel for free and that was a hundred at least a hundred and fifty dollar figure I got for free and as you can see on here you have not just uh, not just DC but you got uh, Star Wars Marvel um, the Predator Guardians of Galaxy, Voltron, there's just a lot of things to go and collect on this website. <laughs> These are some pretty cool ones. That's Grand Moff Tarkin from Star Wars. That's a pretty dang, and this is a prototype, that's a pretty dang accurate representation of Grand Moff Tarkin. Anyway, I just wanted to show you Sideshow really quick. I'm going to go on to uh, the Hot Toys actual page because I just want to show you something really quick. This is the Hot Toys actual page. If you type in Hot Toys, it's the H, it's the HK headquarters. Um, I just want to show you really quick. This is the one six scale Wonder Woman that is coming to my house in just a week or two, and I can't wait because I've been waiting for so long for this figure. Now, I'm, I just want you to look really quick at this figure. As it stands right now, this is a prototype. 
And I'm telling you right now, I would buy this every day without question. This is an awesome representation uh, of Gal Gadot. And, and I just, I could not be more stunned with the likeness of that figure. I was, I was listening to one person online talk about how she looks just like a Barbie. And I actually sell toys uh, through my business. And she looks nothing like a Barbie. And and what you get is you just get these these whiner crybaby uh, individuals who just want them to be so real and lifelike. But the reality is these are still action figures. And I don't know what else they want from these characters. I think they think that sometimes at the price they, they expect a little bit more. But again, when I was a kid, these, these figures just weren't available. And I am very appreciative of that. But I would buy that figure as it stands. And I just want to show you really quick... Um, this is the final version of Wonder Woman. Um, this is one of the poses that she'll be able to be in. Um, different poses. This is the final version. Again, I have this Superman. I have that Batman. I'll show you that Batman in a second for comparison um, on the, uh, the figure as far as accuracy goes. Um, I'm going to show you the uh, Christian Bale Dark Knight Rises Batman and Catwoman as well but when you look at this picture and then you look at this picture over here those likenesses are so spot on I don't know how anyone can complain about that at the price I'm not gonna complain I am buying that figure I don't care I don't even care if it was close to that I would still buy it but I mean when you compare this to a Barbie I mean right here a Barbie shoulders are plastic they look plastic and you can see the joint there's no joint there you look right here it's seamless look at that muscle tone the 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 collarbone the 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 neck lines just this looks realistic i mean this to me is worthy of any any museum piece um that's kind of a picture of a of all three of them Hopefully I'll be able to do that really soon and I'll show you that in the weeks to come. This is a replica of the poster, but this is actually the figure itself. So that's how realistic they look. That looks exactly like the poster looked when it first came out. So I just wanted to show you that really quick. And again, do your research. If you don't want to spend that kind of money on these figures, then, then don't. There are definitely alternatives that you can buy that uh, that may fulfill your need to have a figure like that in your household. Uh, I mentioned Barbie makes one. I think they look like Barbie, so I'm not ever going to buy one. Uh, maybe my daughters will have them in their collections. Um, there's statues, different versions that are cheaper, and then there's just the, the basic Mattel size 112 scale figures that you can buy from Walmart and all those other type things. These are expensive high-end collectibles. If you don't want to get into that genre, then don't. If you do, then then there's definitely an option for you. So really quick, I'm going to pause this and then I'm going to show you some figures of mine. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you really quick. So this is obviously Christian Bale, uh, Batman from The Dark Knight Rises and and uh, Anne Hathaway uh, Catwoman. I just wanted to show you really quick. So I bought this one from Comic-Con. I bought it uh, from a dealer. I bought it for $425 cash. It was the last day of the con. Um, I saw him out of the corner of my eye, begged my wife to let me buy him, and she let me buy him. Uh, I had actually spent all my other money on other figures, but I saw this one. Um, he's so hard to find. Uh, for a good price and I felt that was a good price. I knew it was meant in box. It was still in its original pa uh, packing plastic um, So I bought that brand new n never been used, but I bought it for over $400 from Hot Toys If I would have bought that when it first came out I probably would have only spent again between 250 and 300 dollars. So um, Because I, I I didn't get into the 1 6 scale collecting till later that's unfortunately how much I had to pay. Now this character is used. This one I bought from a gentleman on the East Coast that no longer wanted. Uh, the figure was selling it. Um, they showed it in a glass case. Um, I bought it for uh, about $400 as well. 
And the reason why I'm, I'm telling you this is because this is new in package, $400. This is used $400. And again, if you go online, I showed you kind of some of the variations on Batman that there's really not that much of a difference. You're, you're going to pay about between $350 and, and $400. Uh, but as you can see, I bought this one from eBay. Looks amazing. There's nothing wrong with her at all. Um, I, I'm really glad that I made that purchase. Uh, just so you know, Christian Bale here is, he's very poseable. He can move his head in different angles. His eyes move. You can, you can pop his head off and you can't really see, you can see that little ball in there. I can move his eyes. I can take his face plate out and put a different one on there. It's held on there with magnets, by the way, and it's actually kind of cool because you can get different ranges of motion in his head sculpt. His, his legs bend, his arms bend. Um, same thing with her her act this I don't want to take it off because it's kind of a pain to get on there uh, The way you want it because of her hair being real uh, But her mask comes off so you don't have to have her with the mask uh, He comes with just a head sculpt of Christian Bale. So you actually can get a pretty uh, life-size rep or excuse me one six scale uh, Christian Bale actual face and again, it just comes down to what you may want as as a character. So I got one more figure to show you and then we'll wrap up this video. But I just wanted to give you kind of an idea. Brand new out of the box, over $425. Not brand new, still over $400. So again, if you're worried about losing money because you open them, don't be because if they're collectible like these two figures are, you're not gonna lose a lot of money. All right, we're gonna wrap up with this character. I just wanted to show you this really quick. Um, if you look at this online, a lot of the figures that I'm finding are over 400 and, and something dollars. 350 I think, is the minimum that I'm seeing Ben Affleck's Batman on here. I just wanted to show you really quick the detail. If you go to Sideshow Collectibles right now, there's not as much detail in his costume because you're seeing a prototype. This is a finished version of the Ben Affleck Batman. You can see the battle scarring and the different things inside of his costume. I mean, it's not as gray. It's definitely darker. I love the pose he's in. I love his cape. I love his cowl. Um, if you ask my personal opinion, I think the, the Ben Affleck Batman is the best Batman. And I don't want to get in a huge debate, but I can back that up because I'm also a comic book reader. I love Christian Bale, but I always tell people that Christian Bale was not Batman. He was a virgin. If somebody had a lot of money and decided they wanted to dress up as a bat, that is Christian Bale. This is Batman. This is the detective Batman. This is the brawler Batman. This is the Dark Knight. That run right there is a comic book adaptation. This is a movie adaptation based on a comic book. There is definitely... Uh, a difference between the two so this is a comic book come to life this is a character based on a comic book character brought into real life there is a difference so anyway I just wanted to show those those characters to you hopefully you learned something today uh, my, my goal with these videos is to help educate um, to show off my collection because I, I, I do love it and to help new collectors get into the genre and as you can see I've got a lot of stuff in my background if you ever want to ask questions on what those are or, or where I got them please feel free to ask I, I will do a video specifically on different characters I'm gonna do as many videos as I can uh, if you like what you're saying please comment below like the page and subscribe to my to my channel you would be helping me out a lot uh, I, I'm gonna continue to do these videos regardless but uh, if you can do that that would really help me out but um, Ben Affleck, Christian Bale both great Batmans but not even a comparison in the two. Hot Toys as you can see the detail awesome see you guys later